I'm Richard Gutierrez, and you can call me Charlie. Raymond, but call me Mon. Hi, I'm Rufa Gutierrez. I'm the only girl, so I'm always right. I'm Raymond Gutierrez. I'm Richard Gutierrez. I'm Rufa Gutierrez of It Takes Guts to Be a Gutierrez. And you're watching Imagine, Imagine TV. TV. Um, when we were kids, you know, my brother Richard and I started out as um, child actors. So our playground was actually the movie set. Uh, we did about 11 movies when we were kids and um, to us it was more like fun and games and it was so exciting for us to visit the movie set because our co-actors would always have presents for us and um, yeah so growing up we were already in the limelight we were already in the spotlight but to us it was more about enjoying ourselves and having fun I'm the eldest and I'm the only girl, so I grew up in Los Angeles at a very happy childhood. I came back to the Philippines when I was 13 and I was thrust into the showbiz industry and things have changed since then. I've done over 50 films and I've um, started a, a career that I have until now, so I'm very happy about that. Yeah, growing up, um like what Raymond said, our, our playground was the, the movie set. Uh, we already knew that our dad was famous and then all of a sudden, you know, my sister Rufa becomes famous. So all of this limelight, you know, we had in, in the whole family. But the good thing is that my mom and my, si uh, my, my dad, my mom and my sister, I think, paved the way for us um, and kind of guided us on, on how we're going to enter the showbiz industry. And, and now we're here. Singapore. I, I'm Eddie. I'm the boss. The best advice my parents gave me um, being in the industry to never uh, forget that, you know, the people that that was ahead of you to always respect them, to always give them, uh, show them respect. So whenever there's a, a, a veteran actor, a director, a producer, you know, we always give our respect. And also uh, with our fans, with our supporters, to, to always be polite to them because we owe everything to our fans. My mom and my dad will always be parents, no matter how old we are, you know, whether I'm 12, I'm 22, I'll, I'll be 50. Um, they'll always be there to support us, to guide us and to, you know, teach us the right way. If we're going out of track and we're out of line, then they'll be parents and they'll tell us exactly how they feel. So they're not the type that, um, they're not pushover parents. You know, they will always be parents to us, no matter how successful we are. Um, I think one of the, the best advice my parents gave us is to be professional. You know, um, the show must go on whether you're sick, you're going through something, you still have to show up and, you know, do, do your job and, you know, do your work. And, you know, my sister was sick last night, but she's here and, you know, she's, she's doing our press junket. And <laughs> so, so, you know, I think at the end of the day, no matter what you're going through personally, I think you just have to be professional with work. You know, family, we're, we're very tight-knit, we're very close, and uh, we support each, o each other no matter what. Um, you know, our family grew up in the showbiz industry, so that comes with a lot of, um, you know, controversies and scandals and problems and all the things we went through through the years. But at the end of the day, we're still together, we're still intact, and we're still here to support each other. Um, traditions, uh, I love spending Christmas with my family because it's always so fun and, you know, we get together and just, you know, have a good time. Well, we're not the typical family that has like Sunday lunches or Sunday barbecues because of our hectic schedule. But when we do get together, it's always fun. It's always exciting. We have a lot of catching up to do. And I have my own little family now because I have my two little girls, Lorene and Venice. So I make sure that I bring them wherever I go. I have uh, family trips and I have friends trips. So I would love to um, show them the world and I would love them to experience different cultures. That's why I always bring them with me and I want to I want to teach them all of the different cultures that I've gone and visited. I want them to experience the same. Um, like, like what Raymond said, uh, our family is very close and very tight. Um, even though we don't get to see each other very often because of our hectic schedules, uh, we make sure that once in a while we always catch up and bond. And on this show, it's the first time that we actually traveled after a long time. Um, we went on a cruise for this one, so it's 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 a roller coaster ride. People, yeah. yeah, I have I own a MMA gym in the Philippines, so we train a lot of uh, Muay Thai and boxing, and then. Um, I kind of got Raymond into it and now he's really into boxing also and 
um, we enjoy that. We enjoy uh, working out together. Yeah. Well, I think when it comes to girly stuff, my mom and I bond. You know, we have a lot of disagreements, but at the end of the day, we love each other and we bond. And I tell her a lot of the things that I need advice on when it comes to my career. With regards to personal life, I just keep it to myself. <laughs> People call him a superstar, but everyone knows I'm funnier. A fat day. Oh my goodness. No, I mean... No, there's no strategy. Actually, I was like, complaining in one episode. I looked really fat and they couldn't edit it because that's how I really felt that day and that's how the camera was shot and I, have, I can't do anything about it but just like close my eyes and say, oh, I was fat that day. Yeah, you know, we don't, we don't wake up looking like this every day. You know, we do have our fat moments and I feel like, oh my God, I don't want to, I need to gym today because I ate so much yesterday. I mean, um, there's no tricks to it. Um, I mean, I like layering. I mean, if I, f if I have a fat day, I kind of just like to cover myself. So I'm, we're just like everybody else, you know. No, when you're shooting a reality show, there's no, like what, you know, like what they say, you know, you can't edit it, you know, you can't say, oh, shoot me this way, you know, because we're always moving, you know, we're always on the go. So, I mean, that's the beauty of the show. People will really get to see us raw, you know what I mean? Actually, I mean, that just came out as a joke. I mean, my dad, uh, was the one that told us about it, but I don't know. I mean, it's not like we're we're cousins or uh, what is it, Mond? It's no, because Bruno Mars visited the Philippines, and we that's when we found out that um, his his mom is related to my dad. So his his mom's dad, Bruno's um, grandfather, is the cousin of my dad. So that's how we're related. So it's oh, actually, <laughs> so you know, it's it's a it's a distant it's a distant um, relative. But um, that was a fun fact when he visited and we we met his um, his his mom and his family and they were like, oh, do you know that we're related to you guys? Are you the are you the the children of Eddie Gutierrez? And you know, my dad met them, so we had a small. Yeah, so my dad lived in Hawaii with Bruno's um, grandfather, so they were roommates. It takes guts to be a Gutierrez. It takes guts to be a Gutierrez. Coming this June. See it first on E. Hey guys, I hope you can support It Takes Guts to be a Gutierrez, the first Asia reality series only on E. Catch it on June 1 at 9 p.m. Hi everyone, please watch It Takes Guts to be a Gutierrez, premiering on June 1, 9 p.m. on E Entertainment. Hey everyone, catch the exciting new show, It Takes Guts to Be a Gutierrez, only on E!